Well, I'm joined now on the line by Philip Stoner, former deputy defense attaché for the UK. Uh, Philip, Annette was just saying to us moments ago, NATO has not only been using airstrikes so far, no boots on the ground there in Libya. What are your thoughts? Might they actually bring in soldiers on the ground to end this, this fight in Tripoli? Hello, good morning. Yes, no, I, I think that is very unlikely, especially at, uh, at this moment. This is a very sensible, uh, sensitive time, um, and it's extremely fragile for the sort of emerging new, new democracy. So that's the, the last thing that NATO will do. I think there are two things that NATO really must do at the uppermost at the moment. It's first of all, actually take a deep breath and take, in, in, in metaphorically speaking, a step backwards and try and not to get uh, involved because really the focus now is on clearing up these last few pockets. On the other hand, they're in a far better position because the areas of activity and the sniper activity have been localized. So it's a lot easier now to use high-tech um, uh, 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 um, surveillance methods um, from a distance, completely discreetly, to actually f piece together exactly where the snipers are and exactly where the problems are coming from. And that is an advantage which not at least all the Americans have and are able to actually give uh, to NATO uh, and, and indirectly through to the rebels. So the rebels do have an, enorm an enormous advantage uh, behind them, but the important thing is, is that it, this assistance, if, you know, if it is to move forward, must remain d completely discreet, and it must, from the outside, appear to be the rebels in the, gaining the upper hand, the rebels gaining the control of Tripoli. Now, the rebels are saying at the moment that they do control much of Tripoli, but our correspondents on the ground say the fighting's definitely continuing. How long could this fight for Tripoli go on? Well, I mean, I think, you know, this certainly could have gone for a number of days. Uh, but on the other hand, bearing in mind it is localized to, I think, so 20 percent or maybe less of Tripoli, that area cl clearly uh, will be become uh, in increasingly surrounded. Um, bit, parts of, the, of, 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 the, of Tripoli can be cut off from the point of view of, of, uh, of water supply and uh, power supply. So it will make it increasingly uh, easier for the, for the rebels to actually get, gain the upper hand. But uh, again, if they're hard line people who are sort of very close to Gaddafi, who are prepared to go down fighting, then it could indeed take a number of days, uh, perhaps possibly into, into uh, a, a week and maybe a little bit more, to actually gain the, gain the control of, uh, of that last 20%. All right, Philip Stoner, thank you so much for speaking to us there on the line.